What's up, everybody? Welcome to this video training on how to use voicemails in Go High Level. Now, it's important to note we're going to be covering a couple little things here. Uh, most importantly, how to set up voicemails for your company and then how to use voicemails in your follow-up sequences. And it's an important thing to note that when you do uh, voicemail drops, like follow-ups, let's say you have been following up with somebody in email and text and you want them to get a voicemail about your offer and hear from somebody in your in your company, it does not always work. And that's for a number of reasons. You have different carriers like T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, who have different rules and policies on different things. And you also just have the fact that people's voicemail boxes are full and you have all this technology talking to each other like uh, phone numbers, rerouting. It's a really technical concept that uh, we don't have fully... Uh, full understanding of on our side, but neither does Go High Level. If you're gonna go ahead and go to help.gohighlevel.com, you can always search their exact documentation, but we're just gonna make this easy today. So let's talk about setting up a voicemail for your company. The first thing you're gonna do is go to settings in your business profile and scroll down. Now, you always wanna put a timeout. They say 20 seconds or less. What this means is when somebody calls, it rings for 20 seconds if no one answers, it drops a voicemail. But you don't wanna just get an MP3 from your phone, like on a voice recording or uh, from your computer. We're gonna actually use rev.com slash online voice recorder, which we have here in the comments. And then we're gonna use the uh, online audio converter to make it easy. So I'm gonna make a standard voicemail here as if uh, someone is calling my company and not getting any you know, information back or not hearing anything back and uh, we want to go ahead and give them the right prompts and things that we need them to do. And then we're going to do another voicemail drop that's like more for a specific offer and show you how to put that in a follow-up sequence. Now, some standards to leave as a voicemail in your company. You might have a phone number that's routing to a personal inbox or to a personal phone, and you might have a voicemail on that phone, like in your company. And that will happen if it's rerouting too. They will usually hear that voicemail. So you want to make sure that these are one and the same. So that way, if you have multiple numbers set up in your company, uh, the voicemail that gets rerouted to certain phone numbers is similar to the same voicemail uh, for you know numbers that don't get routed to your primary location. So on this vo online voice recorder, you get a few recordings free, and then you can make a free account. You just hop over here and you press record. Super easy. Hit record and it will immediately start. Hey, thanks for calling Remote Media Team. We are either away or currently speaking with another customer. You may text us at 317-483-7334 or email us at support at remotemediateam.com. We look forward to speaking with you soon. And when you pause, you can preview it if you want to listen to it, um, which I will do. And I'm unsure if you'll be able to hear this playback into uh, the, the, the video, but I'll go ahead and play it through. We're currently speaking with another customer. You may text us at 317-483-7334 or email us at support at remotemediateam.com. We look forward to speaking with you soon. And once you have this recorded, you just go ahead and hit the download file. It'll trim it and keep it short, right? 15 seconds. It doesn't need to be anything extreme. And then you want to downsize this file and change the quality, which makes it easier uh, for the SMS and uh, other providers to deliver it. So we're going to open the file here in Online Audio Converter. We're going to go grab this rev file here. We're going to drop it down to Economy and then press convert, download. And it's gonna give us that new file. And if you wanna play it on your computer, you can. If I go here, I can see the one from 1246 PM, not this one from earlier. I just wanna make sure that it plays all right. Calling remote media team, we are either right, So away. it's playing just fine on my side. So now I'm gonna head over to our settings we're gonna upload that file from 12.46 p.m. And we'll have that set up for a company. You can play it here hey, and listen thanks to it for as well. Remote media team. We and save the call settings. So you'll have that set up for your company for any of the numbers that you're sending messages to. Now, what about voicemails that we wanna do for specific offers, right? Now, for this, you might have multiple workflows inside of your company and you wanna make sure that these drop to somebody. 
So we're going to start a new workflow here. And I'm going to pretend that you already had the trigger set up. We're going to do test voicemail two. We set up a tag. When I'm doing my testing, I always just do a test tag. Let's do a tag. I just make a new tag and I'll delete it later. Tag added. Test voice. Add new tag. Save. Settings. Allow multiple for now, just to make sure. Now, if you had a sequence that was already emailing and texting and you wanted to drop these in anywhere, right, you would already be using all of your workflows over here. And we just go ahead and select voicemail. And now we're going to upload a file. But this is going to be slightly different, right? This is not a standard company. You are now reaching out to somebody who's came in from a specific sequence. You're going to want to record a different voicemail and upload that. So we're going to go ahead and trash this because we've already downloaded one. Delete. We're going to record a new one. Hey, it's Tristan with Remote Media Team. I saw you opted in for our ad assembly line demo, and I wanted to make sure we got connected with you and got on a Zoom call. We'd love to learn more about your company, and I can't wait to hear from you soon. As always, you can text us or call us at 317-483-7334, or you can email us at support at remotemediateam.com. Look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks. I'm going to preview it again to make sure it sounds good. Hey, it's Tristan with... Once I know it does, I'm going to download it. Come over here to my online converter. Refresh that screen. Download. Sorry. Open files. Rev1. Convert. Download. And now I've got Rev1. And I can hop over here and upload that file. Rev1 at 12.49 p.m. Open. You can see it previews hey, here, so that way you know exactly what's coming out. Opted in for our ad assembly line. And then press save. Make sure you publish your workflow so you can test it, and then we're gonna go head over to my account and see if that works. So we're gonna go to our recents here. Let's use Tristan. And we're going to add the tag test voice. I'm always sending myself stuff. So we go to test voice and we can see immediately, boom, left a voicemail. And my phone is ringing right now so we can drop that voicemail into my inbox. Now I have T-Mobile and what I notice with my voicemail drops is that it does not always work. Uh, or it just takes a long time, right? I got a call at 1233. You can see here. And you can see my voicemail did work. Hey, it's Tristan. And you can see on my iPhone right here, sorry, let's get this to load. You can see that it did drop into my inbox earlier when I was testing it before this training. And so this one will just take a moment to deliver too. So that's everything you need to know about voicemails for now. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, reach out to your media team or reach out to us at support at remotemediateam.com. Thanks.